What's up, guys? This is a twin flame reading for the general YouTube audience. Um, sometimes we say collective as if there is this collection of people um, that we're reading to, but of course we're reading to people who are on the wavelength of the people who I read to are on the wavelength of union, meaning they're very close to union. First, they're very close to union and being one with themselves. And so that energy is bringing in external union. Now, my readings, some other readers, they only talk about the partnership. My readings, I look into the lives of the feminine and the masculine, and it usually ties together. And it usually ends with, you know, some sort of connection between what's happening in their lives. And this is to bring us all closer to more life, to the, you know, purpose-filled life, to abundance, to fulfillment, or to give us insight into the next season of our lives. My readings have been given insight into Libra season, so, you know, um, for the past month or so. So this is just a check-in for those who resonate with this wavelength that I'm reading, okay? So I hope I don't get no nip slips in this reading. <laughs> I like this shirt though. Okay, Spirit of the Lord. Um, before I start pulling cards, this reading was brought to you by Gem Body TMC. Every week I have a quota to sell 60 sweaters. I'm, get, I'm getting my brand off the ground and I encourage you to support it if you can. Click the link in my description or you can order a reading, a business reading. If, you're, if you have an idea, you just want to get advice from Spirit, what's the next steps? Is it going to be successful? How do I implement this? Click the link in the description box and I can help you with that as well. So the overall energy we have is Earth Guardian. And I want to talk about Snake too. So for the bottom of the deck, we have Oak, Earth Guardian. Um, stay rooted and grounded. This is about remaining humble, Listen, so many blessings are coming through in our lives. It may take you by surprise. It may have you on your high horse. But remain rooted and grounded, meaning stay focused on your goals. Stay putting the practical work in and manifest your goals. As blessings come in, continue to still work. Remain humble in spirit. Remain humble in mind. Remain humble in body. Because you are a vessel, you are a vessel of light on earth. You're a vessel of God on earth, and you're here to lead and be an example. So, you know, a lack of humility would be an example for the opposition, not an, for the example of God. So continue to stay rooted and grounded and within yourself and put in the work and the energy. You know, earth signs, they work hard. They put the energy in to manifest practical goals. So continue to work on that as things start to manifest for you. We also have snake, shadow skin. You know, um, it, it may also be a time for some of us to, maybe even the masculine, to remove karmics from our lives, to remove patterns and codependency, to remove addictions, to remove the old. Because why? It's time for the new. We're at, we're at number 10. We're at endings and new beginnings. Some of those things that fit in your last season, people, places, and things, are not going to fit in your new season. So it's time to shed those things so that they won't bring us back to the old. We want to forward progress. We want forward progression and forward movement. As Saturn goes direct, we want to go direct with it. We want to manifest our goals and dreams. We don't want to be taken back to lessons that we've already overcame. So continue to shed old patterns, old people, places, and things that don't fit into the next season of your lives and continue to work hard towards your goals. Let's first check on what's going on with the Divine Masculine. Let me save progress. So, Spirit of the Lord, come forward with a message for the person, the people um, on this wavelength that resonate as the Divine Masculine. What message do we have? What insight and clarity do we need as it pertains to the masculine energy today? Strength card. Emperor. Ooh. Okay. Spirit is just saying, remain strong as you develop a strong foundation for your life and for those around you. So maybe the masculine energy is being tested at this moment because a lot of us are being tested again. It's think about it. When you're on when you're running 
and you're on the ninth lap and you have 10 laps to go, or if and you're on that 10th lap and you're almost done, it's the hardest. When you're doing squats with the weights like I do in my gym body TMT sweater and I'm working out in the gym and I'm on that last set and I'm on my last set of squats, you know, it's harder. It's not as easy as if you had the energy when you started, you know, you put all the passion and energy and towards the end, you have to reignite that passion and energy to finish. So spirit is saying remain strong as whatever you're going through right now is develop a, developing a strong um, foundation of emperor is masculine energy anyway. So it's like it's developing you. It's for your good and remain strong and humble during this season as everything manifests. Sorry. Hey, High Priestess wanted to show her face in here. Oh my goodness. Like, didn't I just say this? Nine of Wands. Goodness. So the High Priestess and the Nine Wands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this isn't funny. But I'm laughing. It's because it's that divine feminine that's giving a masculine hard time. <laughs> so the, um... So spirit is telling the ma divine masculine to remain strong during this season or during this stretch towards union with the feminine. Um, yeah. So again, this is that last ditch effort, that nine of wands energy. Sorry if I didn't, did I, I did show you guys. It's that nine of wands energy is that last ditch effort to get something or to overcome something, to manifest something. Again, I just said when you're on the ninth. When you're running, remember I said the metaphor and when you're running and you're on your ninth lap and you have 10 for completion. When you're on the ninth and 10th lap, 10th, you know, you're almost done, you complete. Nine is like, okay, I'm almost there. Continue to fight. So Spirit is saying, remain strong during this season um, as you try to get, you know, a strong foundation in your life and with the feminine and manifest this partnership. Um, yeah, just remain strong and get through it. It's like, put that latch diff ditch effort chance towards manifesting this connection because again the feminine have went through so much in regards to this connection anyway so why should it be easy for the mass it shouldn't be easy for the masculine it wasn't easy for us as feminine energies so why should it be easy for them if it's easy for did you learn anything feminine if this masculine can just walk into your life that's how it was before they didn't have to work for us. They could just walk into our life and we knew what was going on. We knew this is our masculine, divine masculine. We knew this is the person we wanted to be with who can, you know, not completes us because we're 100 within ourselves, but complete the circle, you know, God, feminine, masculine, external, externally. Anyway, we knew this is the person for us. This is our person. So we invited them in our lives. We accepted things that we may should not have accepted because of that. And they didn't know why we were accepting these behaviors and actions. So it may have served as a turnoff for them. So now that the tables have turned, now they have to go through stuff for us. We're not just readily available for you to just come in and out as you please. If you want to stay, earn your position as the divine masculine in my life and you can stay. Period. Anyway, so like I said, this is the Ten of Swords with the Temperance card. Things are ending. Uh, codependencies are ending. Um, karmics are ending. Old cycles are ending because it's time for the new. Card Libra season. Libra is a cardinal sign. It's time to start anew again. And yes, so you have to put this effort in to end this cycle of the old and bring in the new cycle with the feminine. Yeah, it's time for new beginnings with Divine Feminine. Continue to work hard ooh, to manifest this connection. It should work out in your favor. Three cards fell out. And, of course, I'm going to take the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have... All right, how should I do this? We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups. We have the King of Wands. And we have the Knight of Cups. Okay. We know the scenario of all the feminine rejecting the masculine. But I think what this is saying is, not I think, but I feel, this is saying spirit is working on it with you. You're not alone. As you bring this offer to the feminine, spirit is working with you. So don't be deterred because, again, masculine is going over, you know, spirit is trying to tell the masculine to have strength. 
stay rooted and grounded towards the feminine. Interesting. Feel loved and comforted is right under there. Anyway, spirit is saying, you know, remain strong and overcome this obstacle. But the obstacle is the offer comes in and the feminine. Goodness, iMovie has not been my friend lately. I might have to start doing these live. But the obstacle is there is an offer that comes in and it's denied. Um, feminine is saying no. So what Spirit is saying with all these other cards is remain humble and remain grounded and keep trying. Be persistent. Um, and Spirit is working with you to manifest this connection. So overcome this obstacle because the feminine was rejected. So you can you can be rejected too, you know. <laughs> just overcome the obstacle just like the feminines did. <laughs> and I'm not being biased. It's not funny. But put the work in. If you feel that the feminine is worth it, put the work in. And, and he or she is. King of Wands is working towards a resolution. The King of Wands solves problems. So solve the problem. And this could be Leo energy as well. But Leos solve, have confidence. Confidence is key. I have a Leo card in my um, other oracle deck. I think the moon, my moonology oracle. And it says confidence is key on the Leo card. Remain confident and work hard towards resolution of, you know, the problems within this connection so that you can manifest it and work hard towards bringing it together. Spirit is working with you anyway. So sh you should have confidence. You have spirit on your side. I always say that. Spirit is on masculine side too, not just feminine. Make sure I nips up. Anything else for the masculine spirit? Child, you know, this has been a long time coming. A long time coming. So we have Six of Swords. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there is an offer. And this offer changes. Or I think this is, okay, we're now in feminine energy. You know, usually when I start off with a masculine, the last one combination would bring us into feminine energy. And I think this is the feminine energy. Offers coming in, that's a transition that transforms um, the life of the feminine. This isn't. This is this is where the masculine is. Okay, masculine coming in with the offer to the feminine. Spirit is working with him. Even though the feminine may deny this offer, have confidence. Confidence is key. And resolve the issue. Keep continue to remain humble, rooted and grounded, and shed old skin, old patterns, and old ways of doing things. Come to the feminine with a new offer, a new way of doing it, with some new energy that's more promising than it was last time, and work towards your goals. We have the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck because <coughs> it's a divine connection. You can expect the opposition to try to get and steal it. So the feminine is not, um, so the feminine is not that the feminine is rejecting the masculine because of ego or because of what happened in the past. That's part of it. Not the ego, but, you know, past things happen in the past. That's why Spirit is saying shed old skin for both energies. Let out the old, get ready for the new. But it's also the enemy is distracting, the, trying to distract the feminine and steal this connection. Deceive the feminine by providing, bringing in multiple offers. And some of them are not, gonna, you know, it's just a distraction from the actual connection. Just think about it. Like, think about... Okay, now, what is the, the metaphor for this? So there is this offer for you. And one college is leading you towards your purpose. But you got Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Louisiana State, Chicago, whatever, Columbus State, Troy University. So many different universities with full-time, full full-bright um, full scholarships for you, right? So now you just don't know which college to go to because they're all good offers, but only one of them fits in your purpose. Spirit is saying that's a deception. That is a trick of the enemy to steal 
this connection to steal your blessings this is a blessed connection this is a divine connection like no other but these other offers are masking that so have faith in the feminine but also have mercy and understanding that the feminine has to make a decision and maybe the vision is clouded so the feminine has to go within and be one with him or herself in order to make the right decision for him or his or her life so have mercy and, and don't take it so personally. Again, remain humble. Confidence is key. And trust that your feminine knows what to do and who to choose, regardless of what the opposition is doing. But it's a lot going on because it's a transition making a transition in his or her life. So try to understand. This offer is life changing. So it's not going to be an easy decision. So we'll use these cards to check on Divine Feminine, our beautiful, wonderful, marvelous, amazing Divine Feminine. I do sound biased. <laughs> Whatever. Let's check on what's going on. So if we're on a wave, if we're on a safe wavelength, the feminine should be balancing her masculine energy by working towards um, his or her goals. Oh, my lights are going out. Yeah, you're almost done. It's like you're almost done. The light at the end of the tunnel is near. So, the, you... Did y'all see that? I gotta do better. That could have burned my precious card. But it would have been a Seven of Swords. But we... I still like the Seven of Swords. It's definitely a warning, though. Alright, so... Let's... Get a message for, why am I, why is this reversal? Is this all reversed? I'll keep doing that. Let's get a message for the divine feminine. One already wanted to come out. We have nine of pentacles, six, nine, six is the number of, 96 is a blessed number. You know, I, yeah, I feel like I always say that about the numbers that pop up in the reading, but it's true, 96 gematria. Let me just, let me look up, you know, just spiritual meaning. Um, yeah, six signifies home, family, love, idealism, harmony. And nine is the number of divine blessings. It's also humanitarianism, philanthropy, and tolerance. Um, but 96 together, this reading from angelnumbermeanings.com, it says, it usually means that it's time to finish something and to start a new phase of life. It is time to leave old things in the past and prepare yourself for something new. What does it say? Shed old skin. So we're starting off with feminine, starting a new, a new phase of life. Remember, we ended the masculine reading with the trans, guys, it's iMovie. It's we ended the masculine reading with the transition, with this offer, and we knew that it was pertaining to the feminine transitioning our life, his or her life. And this, we're starting with um, 96, but also 9 of Pentacles and 6 of Pentacles, signifying a new phase of life, more balanced and harmony, um, more peaceful phase of life for the feminine that's more abundant and blessed. Again, this offer must be really good. Um, and it could be career related for the feminine as well. But bringing the feminine to a place of peace and harmony in his or her life, a more balanced, blessed place, but also 96 signifying shedding the old in the new, preparing for the new or experiencing the new, which goes perfectly with this card, Shed Old Skin. Um, it says snake, but like karmics and old behaviors and patterns. So out with the old, in with the new. So, let's keep pulling for the feminine. We already know the feminines are about to enter a new phase of life, and I believe it's be happening this month. Really, it's gonna, we're gonna wake up one day, and boom, offers coming in, life changed. You know, if that's how it's gonna happen. We're gonna wake up. Goodness gracious. What? This is dope. So, for the feminine, we have, um, the star came out of the deck, and the ace of cups is on the bottom of the deck. So the feminine's life is about to be more fulfilling. 
you know, she he or she will be energized. Um, this may actually be a following too and recognition and spotlight. And just cup runneth over. So with the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Star, that's a dope reading. Who wouldn't want that reading? So the who wouldn't want the feminine life? It's like the feminine's life is about to be lit really soon. So the feminine is entering a new phase of life regardless of the masculine being in, it, in her in the life of the feminine at all. So as a whole or as, you know, a person, he or she is whole by him or herself. You don't need another energy to bring you wholeness because you're already whole. So when the masculine's offer comes in, it's extra. And all this extra coming at the feminine. It's like, I'm already happy with myself. But I still want to come together with my divine partner. I just have to make the right decision. But anyway, overwhelmed with increased overflow of fulfillment in the feminine's life. And this is a change. This is coming full circle after being through the process. After being through, you know, humiliation. After been going through so much, finally the feminine gets fulfillment and recognition. Wow, this is dope, feminine. Can't wait to go to sleep and wake up to a new life like this. Like, who would like? But feminine put in the work to do so. Okay. Mm. All right. So this is what happens with the feminine's life. Abundance comes in. There's peace. There's harmony. There's, look at, you know, look at this. Namaste. Like, you're met in a meditative state. You're just feeling good as a feminine. Your cup runneth over, increase, overflow, overflow, recognition, energy, vitality, like everything all good, right? Then these masculines come forth with these offers. You have, you know, multiple people coming for you. They want to be a part of the good energy. Again, and it's also, you know, this opposing force trying to keep you and the masculine apart. Um, trying to steal it from y'all but it's like it brings conflict to have these different energies coming forth to the feminine you know because it's, it just is because it's clouding the vision so many people it's already a new phase of life and the feminine's getting used to living better in this new phase of life but you know, the conflict comes with the masculine. I'm sorry. But it's not like the masculine is trying to bring in conflict. It's just so many offers that it's conflicting to the feminine. And the five of wands resonates with change. But the five of wands resonates with, you know, overcoming the obstacles. So it's going to be an obstacle for the feminine to overcome these multiple offers. I always say it's a good problem to have, but not necessarily because you want to be connected with your divine masculine as a feminine. And people coming in as a distract distraction isn't always good. Oh yes. Mm. Alright. Nine of Wands. I think we're gonna I'm not gonna make it too long this time. We're gonna leave the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. But what I'm getting is this is the last obstacle for union. So expect the before I say the rest of these cards, expect the events to fold this way. Feminine gets recognition and spotlight. Feminine get, enters a new phase of life with um, abundance, blessing, fulfillment, self-fulfillment. All on her, his or her own. Masculine started coming in. Masculine is already bringing an offer to the feminine and may have been denied. Masculine may have to go through some a period of you know, fight in order to get the feminine. She, he or she is, has shed old skin and moving on to a new life. Masculine shed old skin and moving on, shed the old and end with the new. And the new for the masculine is the feminine. The new for the feminine is her abundance and blessings in her life, but choosing which masculine fits in that picture. And this is going to be the obstacle with the nine of wands, the last obstacle before they come together as a pair. So the masculine is going to be doing the fighting and the feminine is going to have to do the meditating and deciding. Um, then we have, you know, I just pulled these three cards, which is perfect. There is light at the end of the tunnel because we have the ace of pentacles. I'm glad this read, most of the readings have all ended with the feminine just saying no. 
and choosing to be single. But this reading, the feminine, there's light. The feminine sees the light at the end of the tunnel. We have Ace of Pentacles in the sun and decides to say yes to an offer. Six of Cups, soulmate, twin, you know, could be twin flame energy, soulmate energy, could be from the past. So, but the feminine sees the light. This offer is the light. And the feminine accept the, the offer from the masculine and they come together. Now it's not 9-6. Now it's 6-9, which is yin-yang, twin flame energy. Pair energy, couple energy. So keep fighting masculine when it gets to this season. You'll know when it's time for you to fight and offer to the feminine. Feminine, stay focused on your grind. Things are about to turn around from you. Could be tomorrow morning. Could be the next day. Could be the 14th when things start going direct. Could be this week, next weekend. Prepare for it. You know it's manifesting. Prepare for it. Write down your intentions. Write down what you want in the masculine right now. So when the offers start coming in, you'll know exactly you have probably have to meditate and you'll have to seek new perspective and pray and have faith. But you'll know which one to take because you know what you want. You've already written it down and you're preparing yourself. I'm going to try to lose some weight this week. That's just, <laughs> I have work to do, but I'm also going to try to lose some weight. But anyway, I'm, gra I'm grateful and I'm happy that we have a different ending for this reading because the Six of Cups signify that this offer comes in. And then with the sun here and the Six of Cups, the feminine goes within. Look at this. Has faith, goes within, look at her arms. Look at her. You can tell she's one. She's one with God. You know, she is God. She's a manifested version of God on earth. She's one with God. So when this offer comes in, she goes within. She gets in tune with that God energy. She gets in tune with the feminine and instinct and intuition inside of her. And his or him or her. And she accepts the offer for the right person. And you, you two come together. I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. Um, I ask you to please like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Help me to, I want to grow my channel. I know that things will grow for me anyway this week, you know, this month. Things are going to grow. This energetic fight that I've been in is near to completion. And I'm coming full circle and thank God for that. But anyway, still like, share, comment, purchase a gym body hoodie, swear, cruelty, um, to be a part of the moment. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more light. I'm also open for reading, so. If you want that, I'm here for you as well. Okay, peace. Thank you for watching. Please help me meet my 60 order goal for this week for Gym Body TMC Gym Hoodies that help you work out and get a better workout in the gym. That website is gymbodytmc.com. Thank you.